Sun Devils celebrating their first league victory and first under interim head coach Sean Aguano. 45-38, they topple number 21, Washington, as the Dogs' drought here in the desert continues. They've lost eight in a row in Tempe. No win since 2001 with a former Husky great, Lincoln Kennedy. I'm J.B. Long. Well, this was a chaotic game throughout, including at the finish line. Yeah, well, you were telling me coming in today we were going to get a shootout with these two offenses. I would have said something's really wrong. Washington has had efficiency this season on offense, but Arizona State has struggled to score. But in not today, when Emory Jones goes down, you're thinking the worst because you're coming in with a backup quarterback. We certainly hope he's okay uh, after going, leaving the field, possibly concussed. But then you you see the number five walking into the uh, into the locker room, but this defense that comes through for them comes through big time when they need it. Now they get a stop on downs. They get a takeaway on a pick six. Now they did just enough, didn't they, under Donnie Henderson to change the momentum of this game and to allow their backup quarterback to settle in. And the fact that they scored 45 points uh, and it, to really beat Washington down, you know, Washington's going to have to go back to the drawing board to figure out what's going on with their defense because Valade had a really big game as well as Bourget. You saw Jordan Clark there with the pick six. That made it 24-10. ASU built multiple two-touchdown advantages. And they were really wa working their way down the field. The Huskies did not do a lot to stop them. I know the interception that the Huskies had, Banks uh, was able to, they were able to turn into uh, seven points, but really not enough d done today to stop this Arizona State offense. For all the productivity by the Sun Devils, it still came down to the final play of the game. They had to survive a Hail Mary. In the final seconds for Michael Penix Jr., after a bad snap, pushed him into fourth and a mile. Every defender will, coach will tell you, knock the ball down, knock it down, don't try to make an interception, don't try to do anything. That's exactly what it, that ball was done, it was the Arizona State Sun Devils did. And Corey Bethley, Chris Edmonds combining to break up that final pass. Forks up indeed here in Tempe. Trenton Bourget on in relief, entered the game in the second quarter, threw for three touchdowns. X Valade, his fourth 100 yard rushing performance and a couple of touchdowns. All right, a badly needed buy for Arizona State, and they take it on a winning note before they travel to the farm to face Stanford. The Huskies had a tough road trip in Los Angeles on a Friday night at the Rose Bowl, and now here again in Tempe. They'll take on the Arizona Wildcats next Saturday, 2.30 p.m. You can find it again on Pac-12 Network. For Lincoln Kennedy, J.B. Long, ASU extends its streak over Washington here in Tempe, 45-38 the final.